We are one step closer to the end of the UAW strikes. Delantis and the union have reached a tentative deal. Union leaders tonight calling it a historic win. With this agreement, we're going from defense to offense. We're going from the managed decline of the American working class to a new era of auto manufacturing. Turning to work in the coming days. And meanwhile, the union is ramping up the pressure on General Motors. Tonight, the union told the nearly 4,000 UAW members at the GM Spring Hill, Tennessee assembly plant to walk out on strike. And the union is threatening more walkouts until a deal is reached. The union is looking for a contract similar to the one with Ford and now Stellantis, which include a 25% wage increase, the end of wage tiers, and the reinstatement of COLA. That's the cost of living adjustment. General Motors is tonight expressing its frustration with the expanded strike. We turn now to Local 4 business editor Rod Maloney with more on how Stellantis the Stellantis deal unfolded and what the union faithful are now saying about it. And then there was one smoky picket line. General Motors here in Pontiac. The only ones remaining now that Stellantis and the UAW have a tentative agreement. UAW President Sean Fain out with another characteristic video where he's proclaiming a very rich contract for his membership. We were looking at a net loss of jobs. Our stand up strike changed that equation. Not only did we not lose those 5,000 jobs, we turned it all the way around. By the end of this agreement, Stellantis will be adding 5,000 jobs. The company saying in a statement, as we announced that we've reached a tentative agreement with the UAW on a new labor contract, I would like to thank all the negotiating teams who have worked tirelessly for many weeks to get to this point. We look forward to welcoming our 43,000 employees back to work and resuming operations to serve our customers, end quote. Those announcements coming long after news of the agreement broke. In the afternoon hours at the Mopar Parts headquarters in Centerline, we heard mixed reviews. Very happy, very happy. I wish it was sooner, but, you know, hopefully we got everything we wanted. I'm happy to hear that there's something, but until I hear details, no, because they've been coming up with real small offers, and I'm not trying to hear that. Then after waiting for about three hours, the official word came. And the locals started removing firewood and breaking down the small tent city strikers here use to stay out of the weather. Wayne State University business professor Dr. Merrick Masters told Local 4 it wasn't surprising after negotiators went into marathon bargaining over the past couple of days. Oh, I think that after hard bargaining, they came to the realization that it was better to get this done sooner rather than later. Sunday looks to be a very busy day for the UAW. UAW Ford leadership coming to town so that they can get their TA moving along for a ratification vote. And then they have to go ahead and move Stellantis in that direction too for a ratification vote. In the meantime, just like Ford, Stellantis workers will go back to work as they wait on that ratification. In Pontiac, Rod Maloney, Local 4. Thank you, Rod. Governor Whitmer has been outspoken about the strike and the need to get union members back to work. She said in a statement the deal will help keep jobs in Michigan, adding, quote, let's build on our momentum and ratify these agreements so Michiganders can get back to doing what they do best, making the world's best cars and trucks. President Biden also released a statement saying, quote, this contract is a testament to the power of unions and collective bargaining to build strong middle class jobs while helping our most iconic American companies thrive. 